Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. This is a vlog of Palm Springs, but yes. we are not in Palm Springs right now. Not yet. Where are we? We are in Indio at Indio. Shield Date Shake. So we have to come here to try oh, their. Yeah. They're uh, known for their date shake, so we have to go try it. It is hot out here. Yeah, now Indio is about 20 minute drive outside of Palm Springs, mm -hmm. but this is where we came just to get the shakes. Yes. Now we know they have them in town in Palm Springs. We do. But this is supposed to be like the OG yes. originators. They've been here since 1924. Mm -hmm. it's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's been it's there like forever. 98 and, years. And this is a big place. I mean, it has a, bre I mean, a uh, restaurant here. It has event space here. And you can see all these trees that have like little, little bags. I guess those are the dates. I don't know how dates yeah. grow. But you'll take a picture of it and see. Yeah, let's go check it out. Okay. Here at Shields, we got the date shake. But for those not familiar, dates kind of start out like this. Uh, and they're sweet. And I remember having some bacon wrapped dates. And then in order to make it, it kind of grinds it up into these crystals. And then they put in the blender with some uh, milk and ice cream. Vanilla. Vanilla ice cream, and there you go. You can see the color of it right there. Yeah, try it so out, baby. We're gonna give this a try. Mm -hmm. Very thick. Mm. That is good. It almost tastes like the color of it. It has a chocolate, nutty type of flavor. Yes. Very creamy. This is my first time having a date shake, and I wish they offered it like where we are back where we live. This is delicious, because I, I definitely get it again. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's sweet. It kind of reminds me of like, I don't taste the chocolate. It does taste like date. It's really sweet. It, it kind of reminds me of like eating like, you know, the little date thingies in like a trail mix. That's what it reminds me of. Mm. Delicious. Really, really cold date. Yeah, I think, you know, people pick up different flavors. Yeah. You know, so I'm getting a little chocolate, but yeah. you're getting just some other flavor. Date, yeah. I just need a piece of bacon to dip bacon in this date shake and it'd be perfect. So that's the uh, consistency of it. Yeah. You can see those little date crystals in there. And it is a thick, thick, thick shake. Oh, yeah. It's a good shake. It is. So that's going to wrap up our stop here at Shields. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was worth it. It I was. mean, it, it was, it's fun. I'm glad we tried it yeah. out. Now we're going to head into Palm Springs for lunch. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are back in Palm Springs for breakfast. We are. This is the next day. Uh, originally, we wanted to go check out a place called Cheekies. Yes, but I guess because it is near the ending of summer, lots of places are closed for refurbishment yes. and things like that. You didn't see on their website. So we found a quick another spot where we want to visit. It's called The Farm. Yes. Highly rated on Yelp, like what, 3,000 reviews? Yeah, 3,000 reviews, four and yeah. a half stars. They're known for having uh, the breakfast from the south of France. Hey, I'm down for that. Let's go try it. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna get a few things here. We're gonna get the bacon, chicken, and waffle. It's the fan favorite from what our 
server was telling us. Um, we're also gonna get the citron crepe and the omelet, the canard omelet with is duck. Oh wow, yeah. So we're gonna have chicken and duck this morning. Yeah, so it looks really good, it's right? It's gonna be pretty cold. And what's really cool is when they do your coffees, it's two or four cups and it's a French press that they do their coffees. That's pretty cool too. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. Okay, go for it. Press my coffee down. So it's hot water. Coffee's been steeping. Press that down. Let's pour a cup of coffee. This French press thing is pretty cool. Yes, it looks very uh, deep, rich color yeah. coffee. A little bit of cream in there. Oh, it looks pretty good. Wow. Try it out. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Good, a little bit on the bitter side, but really good, strong coffee. If you want some strong coffee, this coffee here, French press, is the way to go. It'll kickstart your morning. Babe. It will. This is the canard omelet. It is duck with, I changed the cheese. It comes with goat cheese, but I'm not a big fan of goat cheese, so I got the gruyere. So it's duck with gruyere. We're gonna head and break this open and see what it looks like on the inside. Nice, fluffy looking omelet. Turn it so you guys can see it as well. Oh uh, yeah, look at now, all that goodness in there. Everything is uh, farm to table yes. over here. Mm -hmm. Wow, that looks really good. I can't wait to dig on it and try this one. Let's go ahead. You can see this omelet is fluffy. That cheese in there, that gruyere. Oh wow, that's like a bite and a half right there. I know sometimes duck has a tendency to get dry because it's just very fatty and you can overcook it. This is delicious. That duck flavor isn't a strong duck flavor at all. Mm -hmm. Omelet, extremely fluffy. It comes with either potatoes or salad. I got this salad with a vinaigrette. Slightly sweet from that vinaigrette, and um, it comes with a croissant. Now you have a choice between a uh, baguette or a croissant. Right. So we they, got them. If we're going French, we're, we're going all the way with French done croissant, croissant right? and they give you some homemade jam with that croissant. Wow, and that butter, look at yeah. that. And we ordered also a citron crepe, so you know we gotta try that out. I got the highly recommended from our server, the bacon chicken waffle. Check this out. It's a Belgian waffle right here with chicken and some sausage with French gravy with bacon. It comes with a salad, but she recommended to upgrade it with some uh, like home potatoes right here. Look at this meal. Looks incredible. Let's cut into this. Here we go, let's try it out. Sweetness come from the waffle. But it is delicious. Wow, let me try one of his bacons out. It's glistening in that sun right there. Perfect. The right amount of saltiness on that bacon. Try some of these potatoes. Dip it into that French gravy. Yeah, excellent. This is a great breakfast. I never had anything like this before where you have that gravy with the uh, sausage and the bacon, as well as the chicken. Interesting combination. Everything works. Delicious. Look at this croissant. Just by touching it, very flaky. They cut it for you. Oh, look at that. They even like slightly toasted it for you. Look at that. So I'm gonna try some of this homemade, perfect. Some kind of berry jam. A little bit of butter. That's a, that's a lot of butter. We try to spread it out. That Here berry's just hanging out right there. How, how does that look? How's oh, that yeah. back look? Do it. Brings you back to Paris, babe. South of France, maybe. No, you know, I don't remember having like homemade kind of strawberry jam with the croissant. We just eat it plain usually, but believe me, that just complements this croissant. 
And it is crispy on the bottom. Wow. It's great. I really want to try the baguette, but there's too much bread to sign the baguette. So we had to get this. I'm glad we did. Yeah. You gonna try this out there. Okay. The strawberry jam looks so fresh. And look at those little grill marks right there from the butter, a little bit toasting of that of that croissant. Nice, mm. Wow. Extremely flaky. The croissant's delicious. That jam, that's where it's at. This homemade jam that they do with those fresh strawberries. Oh yeah, you take a little bit of this freshly done restaurant. You dip it in that jam right there. That's the way you eat it. So that's the jam right there. This is my jam. Sweet and simple, sugar, lemon, and a lovely fruit done right here. Freshly done, you can smell that lemon in there already. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and cut a piece here of this crepe. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Slight sweetness. That lemon really comes through. Wow. This is a buckwheat crepe. She says because usually buckwheat crepes it's a little bit more hearty. And this crepe is excellent. Okay, I gotta try this out. Here's my waffle. Here's my chicken. Here's my bacon. This and filled with gravy. This is the bite. Trying out this chicken, waffle, and bacon. That this dish hits on all cylinders. The sweetness of the waffle, the grilled chicken is delicious. Plus that sausage, the undui sausage is not very spicy at all. And the bacon, just to top off everything, they give you that little crunch. Wow, this is a, a winner, winner chicken and waffle dinner. Or breakfast. Or breakfast. The farm, that was excellent. That was excellent. Thank you, Alicia, for giving us excellent service. Oh yeah, and the recommendations. And the recommendations. I mean, I, I never would have picked that uh, yes. had you not recommended it. Yes. So thank yes. you. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have a lot of uh, to go because we're, have a lunch place here that yes. we want to hit up mm -hmm. we and, do uh, you know we're, we're professional eaters yes, so we, we have are. to like pace ourselves yes we do we do and um, thank you cheekies for being closed because otherwise if cheekies were open we wouldn't have been here uh, that's uh, true <laughs> so, but we will you. have to go to cheekies when they reopen it. because mm -hmm. they have a bacon flight which just sounds outrageous and we gotta try it yes mm -hmm. yeah, so cheekies we're, we're, we're coming for you next yeah, time we will so you know right behind us was the farm but right. it's located in a, in a nice little cute plaza yeah, it and, is. And the mountains just right there. And right? we have a, a lot of little small local stores. Right. Not quite open yet. It's still kind of early in the morning. But it's a really cute here, huh, baby? It is. Yeah. And really uh, warm, but that's okay. A lot of eating places. Yes. Yeah, a lot of selections. Yes. On the way to the uh, lunch place, yeah. we came across this. Look. Giant Marilyn Monroe mm -hmm. statue. This is their public arts area. So we're gonna take a little bit of pictures, huh, babe? Yeah. And then go this, on to lunch. But it's kind of cool here. Stuff down there too, like yeah. little babies. Yeah, let's go see the bebes. <laughs> We have arrived at Sherman's Deli. Yes, this is the delicacy you have to visit while in Palm Springs. Yeah, this is the mm -hmm. spot. This is the right? spot, yes. And uh, we are pretty familiar with Jewish delis we as are. of late. Yes, we right? have been. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially we hit up a couple in Vegas, of course, Cat's Deli in New York, mm -hmm. uh, Langer's, and Langer's in LA. Yeah, we had Cantor's. We have to do a revisit for Cantor's, though. Right. But we have Cantor's in our area. It's a lot of different delis in our area. Yes, but uh, this is this is the Jewish deli spot. Uh, yeah. So uh, let's go inside. Okay. We got the lunch special, what is a half soup and half sandwich deal. This is the soup. There's a chicken noodle soup. You have to order the matzo ball separately for like $2.95 or something like that totally worth it from what we hear we got the soup I know when people come here you make sure you get the soup 
We're gonna try out this matzo ball first. Mm. That is a good, actually it's a very non-dense matzo ball. This soup. Great flavored soup. This, and you can taste the chicken, but you also taste the herbs in it. There's uh, shredded chicken. Wow. A lot of it. Yeah. So you can taste the herbs in this soup. You can taste those onions. And here are the noodles. Mm. Great hearty chicken soup. And we have half sours, which are pickles, but they call them half sours. Look at how big that pickle is. Uh, they also give you some sauerkraut on the end. All right, right there. <laughs> I got the Reuben with corned beef. Check that out. Generous portion of corned beef. Of course, uh, the Reuben has some uh, uh, sauerkraut, the corned beef, and I think it has some uh, cheese as well as Russian dressing. But look uh, at the latke. And rye bread. Yes, on rye, uh, toasted. This latke, I know some people have mentioned that it's not traditional to have the edges crispied up, but come on. Look at that. <laughs> How could you say no to that, right? Of course, with the traditional applesauce and sour cream. But we're gonna go in for the sandwich first. And don't forget, you can substitute your fries with laka for like yeah. $2 more. Yes, originally it was uh, French fries, but uh, we said, hey, upgrade me, right? Look at that. Wow, this looks like a good size bite. Here we go. This is the real deal. That corned beef. It's hot, delicious uh, sauerkraut. Perfect amount of uh, tartness and sourness to it. One doesn't overwhelm the other. Of course, with that toasted uh, rye bread with the cheese, this is a winner. Uh, we had a few Rubens, but this is uh, this is up there. How about with Langers, babe? We had the Rubens at Langers. No comment. Anyway, let me go in for a second <laughs> bite here. Mm. Yeah, look at that. It's perfect. I know some delis, they like kind of pride themselves on mile high stacks of meat and stuff, but honestly, it's all about the ratio. And this has a perfect amount of ratio between the, the sandwich, bread, as far as the meat sour, and sauerkraut. So everything's proportioned correctly, in, in my opinion. So, you know, sometimes you don't want just a mouthful of just meat only. You want the whole thing, right? So yeah, this one executes it very well. I like it. Now, tell me what you think about this room. Wow, look at that. That's some thick stuff. As you press it, you see those juices leaking out? You see it, baby? Oh, I see it. Can you get it on the camera? I got it. Holy moly. The juices are flowing. I'm ready. I like when juices flow. It's all about the bread. Perfect crunchiness on this bread. That crunchiness reminds me of Langer's. I believe though in Langer's their bread was a bit more rye. I don't know that's a word, but that rye taste. This one is delicious. Doesn't overpower at all. It's all about that ratio, right? Mm -hmm. And this pastrami oh, corn is, beef, corn beef. I mean, I'm sorry, this corned beef is outstanding. I meant corned beef because this brings me back to St. Patrick's Day. I think just having regular pastrami and cabbage, usually you do on St. Patrick's Day, why not get a Reuben? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling the look of the Irish with the sandwich. Well, thankfully I'm wearing my Guinness shirt. Mm, you are. I have to go ahead in with this laka. Wow, those crispy centers. Look at what it goes inside. So that extremely thick one. I know in uh, Russ and Daughters, it was a real like patty-like. This one's really thin. You get a little bit of sour cream. Yeah, the edge is almost chip-like. Yeah, sour cream on one side. Do a little bit of applesauce right here. That looks delicious. 
Well, I hear that crunch from mm -hmm. this side. I remember in Rice Deli when we got it. The applesauce was an unsweetened applesauce. This tastes like a plain applesauce. It has that little bit of sweet to it. Along with this sour cream. It is delicious. And this little bit of applesauce. Ah, get my perfect last bite here. Come on, applesauce. Mm. This tastes like a really crispy potato pancake. It doesn't taste like a hash brown that you can get crispy. That doesn't taste like a country potatoes. Just plain crispy shredded potatoes. There you go. And actually the laka tastes a little bit flavored with some sort of pepper in there as well. Wow. This is some good stuff. Here we go. That crunch is unreal. No, that's the kind of crunch I like. It may not be traditional, but we like the crunch. You know what? It's traditional to these guys, and I'm happy for it. I love that crispiness. And you're right, it does have a little bit of pepper inside there, and maybe a little salt. So uh, it does have some flavoring on its own, even if you didn't put the sour cream and, and uh, applesauce on it. I love these. These are, these are great. Nice fry to them. Mm -hmm. This is my pastrami. They do have the mustard tier if you want to add it, the deli and the sweet. But we're going to have it regular right here. Yes, and we did get it with the Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese, tons of pastrami in there. Naked, I have it naked right now. Mm. That is a delicious pastrami. Good flavoring. Look at all that flavoring in there. Mm -hmm. Served hot. The spread is where it ma where you make it. Spread is delicious. Pastrami, very well seasoned. Matches well on the Swiss cheese. We're gonna hit it up with a little bit of mustard. See if I can open this. Let's hit it up right here. There That's you go. the deli mustard. This right is there. the deli mustard. Mm -hmm. Hit it up with a little bit of that mustard. That deli mustard is outstanding for this pastrami, but it doesn't need it. But as in all sandwiches, they give you half sours. That is a huge this is a big size one. right there. Mm, mm. Those pickles. Perfectly sour, but not too sour. Good crunch to them with this sandwich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it, huh? Not tomato and pastrami heaven. And you also got a uh, little scoop of uh, potato salad in this as well. We did. It's dessert time. This is the outside. Yes, it's like a hard chocolate shell mm -hmm. on the outside. Uh, this is called the chocolate dome. And it was recommended. Yes, I, I talked to one of the bakers over mm -hmm. there. The, uh, these, this is one of the best selling and popular chocolate cakes. They have like three different kinds, including a German chocolate. Mm -hmm. Wow, so you know, I'll try it out. Look at that. It's yeah. almost, it's like multicolored in there. And it these is. are all house made, huh? All house. house made right here. Mm -hmm. Try it out then. I think we need a fixture. We do? Okay, mm -hmm. stand by. All right, let's go in okay, for a let's bite. Let's dig in. Let's see. I don't know what flavors they get. Let's do this long one here. Yeah, it looks like um, like dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and I don't know, is that yeah. marshmallow or something? Maybe. Here you go, babe. Oh, me? Mm hmm. It smells like a ding dong. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> it is a ding dong on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Try it. That's what it smells I'm, like, I'm, a I'm ding a dong. Of, I'm a fan of ding dong. So yeah. And it is delicious.
Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. I, I love the three different types of, um, what is it, uh, frosting filling in here? Yep. If you open a Ding Dong and stick three different fillings in it, it's exactly what it is. Cake right. is really moist. It is sweet, so I like a cup of coffee with this. Or some uh, yeah. nice cup of ice water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is great. Uh, yeah, really thank, thank you for the recommendation if you mm -hmm. watch this video. Yeah, this is great. We'll have to take it to go, so um, yeah. we'll have it a little bit later. Yes. That was a awesome lunch. That was really good. Here at Sherman's, mm -hmm. yeah. That dessert was really good. You know, my like, favorite was, yeah, not only was that yeah. oversized Ding Dong a, mm -hmm. a favorite, but the, uh, the, uh, the Reuben yeah. plus the latkes. Mm -hmm. That, that was my favorite. It was a good one. It was a very good lunch, I baby. Yeah. In, in fact, if you come over here, just remember that they can substitute your fries with the uh, latke. Yes. Yes, yeah, so they keep, can. Keep that in mind. And they seem like a lot of regulars come here. Mm -hmm. um, they they know a lot of the people who are coming in and visiting. So, yeah, this is a good spot. I like yeah, it. And yeah, I think for it's sure. closed like on a Tuesday. It's well, it, it, yeah, it was closed yesterday uh, yeah. at this Palm Springs location. I believe yes. they have one more location. I think Hot Springs, yes. Desert Hot Springs There's, or somewhere. Uh -huh. Yeah. They do. Yeah, but overall, this was a, a good f first time foodie trip here yes. in Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. And Palm Springs isn't very big at all. It's, it's a pretty small city. All places are really close to each other. Like from here to go to where we went this morning, um, it's uh, really farm, close to the farm. farm. It's very close to each other. Right. Very that, cute city. Yeah. Oh, the only thing a little bit further from here was where we went to Shields Date Shake. Yes. Yeah, that was another 20 minutes out of yes. town, but mm -hmm. still, that was that was a fun that trip. That was a good one, too. Yeah, so any shout outs, Yes. Um, we have birthdays to the following Jack, Lynn, Sadie, Marilyn, Chris Stedman, Mark Reed, Sue, Susan, and another Sue. Wow. Wow. Happy birthday, yeah, everyone. Happy birthday. Happy uh, birthday. Big month for August. Yes. Uh, happy anniversary to Sue. And yes. A lot of Sue's. And Kevin Lee and his mom, thank you so much for watching. Yes. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it, babe. Okay. Well, yeah. Happy birthday and happy anniversary. And I know some of these birthdays were at the end of August, maybe yes. beginning of September even. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so mm -hmm. happy birthday. And thank birthday. you to so everybody who said hi to us. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. So um, we're concurrently shooting this with uh, our morongo vlog yes, so mm -hmm. stay tuned or uh, if it's already released check that one out mm -hmm. as well and we may hit i think maybe another place after this maybe near morongo possibly maybe possibly. so that'll be bonus footage yeah yeah mm -hmm. so until those future episodes uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one